Hello again, another video, that time of the week. I wanted to talk to you about something I have read recently. I've just finished reading the book from cover to back cover. I uh, read the first half of it twice actually because it's a bit of a long book and there's a lot to take in, there's a lot of messages in there and it's a book that means a lot to me. I wanted to talk to you today about the Bible. More specifically, the Bible according to Phil Graham, Diabetic Muscle and Fitness Guide. I put off doing this video for a while at first because I thought I'm going to wait until I get big and going to show you before and after pictures because I've always wanted to get big. I've spoken in a few videos about when I've talking to personal trainers and people will either not know what they're doing because of my diabetes or they will just palm me off and say no, I don't want to train yet because of your diabetes. And it just seemed that at the end of the day I'm not going to get the body that I want because of this. So I'm just going to have to always be whatever my body is and just put up with that. When I started doing videos and started taking my diabetes seriously, a lot of other accounts started popping up. Uh, so you just end up following other people with the condition or people who know about the condition, people who post recipes and fitness videos. It was the fitness videos that meant a lot to me. Phil Graham and Diabetic Aesthetics, both in incredible shape and it stood out as like, how can they get into great shape when personal trainers and people at the gym have always told me it's not going to happen for you because of your condition. So naturally I was intrigued, started following the account, started watching YouTube videos by them, great videos, check them out. And I bought this book. I don't want to put anyone off though, I don't want people to be put off by the title, I don't want to put people off because of me talking about getting in shape and getting the body I want and that's why I started reading it. I did buy the book for that purpose. When I opened it, the first few pages I learned a lot about my condition I did not know. And I, le I learned a lot more as it goes on. This book isn't solely for people who want to build incredible bodies. If you just want to look after yourself and you're not interested in building huge biceps or rock hard abs, you still need to get this book. It is incredible, filled with great advice, great tips and a lot of information. This is a guy who's done his research, he knows that this is his job. Funny little story about a, a chubby kid, an overweight kid, goes to the gym to try and lose weight a bit when he's diagnosed with diabetes and he realises he's causing problems for his body. Falls in love with working out and becomes an incredible bodybuilder. An inspiration for anyone living with diabetes. He's an absolute monster, check him out. He's huge. But as I said, there's a lot of information in there that applies to just everyone living with diabetes. You should buy this book if you want to take care of yourself. You should buy this book if you want to get in shape. And you should absolutely buy this book if you're a personal trainer. I cannot begin to tell you how many personal trainers out there do not know enough about diabetes. This will give you such a competitive edge if you want to train more people and you want to charge up more, having that extra information and being able to take on more clients is gonna help you so much. This book is invaluable to you. Stop turning people away with diabetes and read this book. Look, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. I mean, I could tell you loads of information that I've learned from this book and make this video hours long. I'm not gonna do that. Buy the book, this guy deserves all the credit. And Phil, Thank you so much for putting this book together. This is a gift to read and I am so grateful for it. Thank you very much. Wait, also want to tell you I have a Facebook page. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. I've started posting things on there just for food and eating, recipes that I've found. I'm gonna post a lot on there and I wanna create a great community. Phil Graham has already created a huge community of people looking to get in shape. One that I'm proud to be part of, but I wanna do one people outside of that. I want to create a community of people living with diabetes, you know, just live happily with rainbows and fluffy unicorns. All joking aside, diabetes feels lonely as hell. When you're first diagnosed, and especially if you haven't heard what condition is, which these days, given the growing rates of obesity and growing rates of people being diagnosed, it's hard to have not heard of diabetes, but it can feel lonely. It's very few people who know people who are type 1 diabetic. And even if you do, you may not know. And it's not until someone sees you inject them one day and they approach you and talk to you about it and say, yeah, I'm diabetic too. But it's, it just feels so small. You feel like you're the only one around at times. Social media has been great for this. I want to expand on that. I want to create a, a huge community of people with diabetes. That starts with my page. There's going to be so much more coming in the future. So like my page below, subscribe to the videos. Thank you for watching this short video and I will we'll speak to you soon. Peace.